folks, and welcome back to some more Fate's Grand Order. On our last episode, we are blazing our way through the flame-contaminated city, Fuyuki. We met Casta Cuckoo Lane and various shadowy servants. We even also had a duel with Cuckoo Lane, which was quite quick because we are frankly overleveled. But that's just the way it goes. Now, before we continue onwards and face the Greater Grail, because I think this is the last chapter, I could be wrong. I mean, I was wrong before. Uh, we are going to go to the shop and exchange our event ticket. Now, had Lancelot been there, this would have been a very tough decision. But, I see an Elizabeth. I get the Elizabeth. Give me that. Mm, yes. Now, another alternative thing that we could have done was choosing one of the servants that we already had to upgrade their Noble Phantasm. Another very good choice would have been either Hercules or Amia. I'm both aware that they are extremely good servants. But I really like Elizabeth. I, I, I can't resist her. Like, come on. You know, love over men maxing is what I say. <laughs> right. So let's just open that there at present box. Now, we did also summon quite a few neat servants in our little bonus video recently, because we attempted to get Gilgamesh, and we got a different five-star servant instead, which was Vlad the Fud. He's alright! I mean, as another berserker, and he has a really cool character, it's just... Mm, I would have preferred any other five-star, in all honesty. Like, even if it was a duplicate Altera. As odd as that sounds. Because I plan to use Altera for a very long time, so I could have upgraded our Noble Phantasm. Or, heck, I could have just got, I don't know... Artoria. <laughs> or Gilgaman! Oh, I'll be sure to take good care of you, love. When I'm able <laughs> to level you up. But that'll be soon enough. One thing I might do as well is do some daily quests bonus videos at some point. Because I've been doing them all off screen. Mainly due to the fact that I figured it wouldn't be too interesting, because I eventually had to build up to be able to do the AP40 quests, which are currently AP20 because of the event. I actually thought that was going to apply to everything, but no, it's only the dailies, which is actually not too bad, because it's very easy to get a quick level up, because, I mean, heck, shortly after the Gilgamesh event, I'm already, like, close to level 33, because I just did a few of those dailies, just to level up my Altera a bit more. Now, I guess we'll bring the cast to Ku. He could be a figurehead, because we are a bit overleveled. J -j just a wee bit, you know, level 46 Tamamook at and 47 Altera. And the very first singularity is not overleveled at all. No, no, no. Facing the Greater Grail. Ooh, my. Another thing that I would have liked to do, in fact, though, is had we completed certain areas, we would have added various servants into the summoning pool. And that would have been a very sensical thing to do, because then I could have potentially got other servants to like, because most of the other um, story servants that would be available right now, I presume? Because I don't know how many areas are available that I would be perfectly fine with. Because I'm going to presume Nero's one of them. I know she was a story servant. Oh yeah, a certain altar servant as well. Oh, why did they have to be both Biachos, eh? Well... Let's see if Altaria can prove a worth and kill this thing with half damage. Da 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 da. Half damage is half damage after all. She just went for the 6k health one, but it's not going to do too much. Only 800 damage. Gosh, and I'm loving the maid outfit the Tawuka has now. I also didn't really notice last time that she came with an Omu Rice too. Uh, it's a lovely dish as well. Right. So, some assassins, eh? Oh, this will be easy peasy, right? I don't think we can wipe them all out as a present, though. 
One thing I've also been doing on occasion to speed up daily quests, and it's not really needed. I, I should probably just save them all so I can get up to free for a future quest in general. If we ever get wiped out, we need a revive. Is just to use an occasional noble phantasm. Because I have quite a few AoE options, most notably Talon Cat, since it's you know effective against everything because she's the Berserker. So it's nice as a crutch. What's the region can help? I do want to send my Saint Martha to. Also, if this does end up being the last tidbit, we will probably be viewing some of my room events with. Uh, various servants, because I mean, for Pete's sakes, I'm almost at bond level 4 with both Kiyohime and Tamamo Cat. Altera doesn't want to open up to me yet, though. But I think 5 stars in general are just grindier. I mean, you take a lot more XP to level up, that's for sure. I'd use a ton of XP cards on her. Right, so two more. Although I think that's mostly just the fact that they have an increased cap, if anything. I think getting levels is easy. It's getting the ascension items that's the harder part. At the moment. Because I'm going to need a bunch of saber items to ascend Altera. Like, she's almost level 50. I could have got her to level 50, but I wouldn't be able to ascend her yet. Although I think some story quests will give us some items that we require, right? Yeah, there's no time with cat cards for this, though. At least we can still kill two of them. Man, the sooner we kill a Fuki, the better, though. Less skellies, the better. Like, like, why can't there be some goblins? Actually, then again, because of a certain card game, I'm getting kind of sick of seeing goblins, too. Copy's feeling hungry. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, all the hand of dawns. A bunch of free XP. Oh wait, it's not much. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'm sure Altera can one-shot one of these, right? Yeah. There we go. You know, not that thing about it. I would have actually been fine with a 5 star craft essence if it was like a kaleidoscope. Because, oh, having one of those for farming would be so good. But we'll see what we'll get in our next batch of summons when we get 30 Saints Quartz again. I don't think we can. No, there's no way we can kill them both. No. Even if we were to buff up our attack here. Actually, no, if we buffed up our attack, there was a possible. Well, let's see. Maybe. I have noticed the time Tamukai has a lot less attack than something like Hercules, though. Seeing like some like level 40 ish Hercules have more attack than her. Dang muscles. Ooh. Right, so the next one should be the boss, right? I hope so. Please no more skeletons. Actually, if there's more skeletons, can this be the last we see in them? I mean, it won't be. Because there's plenty of optional quests I still need to clear and Fuyuki to get a bunch of Saint Quartz. Which is what I'll most certainly be doing off screen, because it's not going to be something too interesting to show. I mean, well, I'm going to be bish bash boshing more level 1 skeletons. <laughs> Time for the Great Grill. This will be our last break. Is there anything you've left undone? No, I'm ready. Well, that's good to hear. I just like masters who can't make up their minds when push comes to shove. You're still a rookie, but you've got the most important thing a pioneer can have. The divine luck to grasp the fates and the ability to make decisions. Don't forget how to be reckless. People like that are the ones who will get blessed by the stars. I don't know what you're talking about. Whether we forge ahead or go back, we need to rest first. Doctor, are you checking vitals? Dave looks paler than usual. 
Oh, oh, yeah. This doesn't look very good. It's because of the unexpected servant contract. You never used your magic circuits and now they're running at full capacity. It's probably putting stress in your brain. Mash, set up camp. It's time to make warm tea with plenty of honey. Got it, Doctor. I think tea time is a good idea. Oh, feeding yourselves before the final battle? Then maybe I'll go hunting for some wild boars. I'm sure there aren't any around here. Besides, forget about meat. If you must get something, make it fruit. I'm stuffed. I can't believe you had dried fruits with you, Director. Again, your level of preparation astonishes me. I just happen to have them. Citrus is effective against headaches, but that aside... Um... What is it, Director? The, the work you've done so far has been passable. As a Director of Chaldea, I have to give you credit. Hmm, what's that look for? I'm sure it's a fluke, but right now, you're all we've got. What I'm saying is keep it up and you might hear praise from me yet. I know that even a fire trader could do fast week. What? Well, well, I mean, the Dave did a solid job. Have you eaten something sweet? Romani, if you've got time to be flapping your guns, you said to send Dave a supplier to it instead. I feel bad if someone failed because they were ill equipped, especially when they have been doing their best. What's this? Feel bad? How kind of you. Director, does this mean you're finally opening up your heart? Idiot. I mean, pitiful. Pathetic. You couldn't even tell that? Well, I never grow tired of watching you and what the, uh, the, the, the watching young men and women interact. Although when it comes to young men, women, director, you're not really. Is that right? Certainly the director is older, but I feel like we have similar tastes. I feel fiction for her. What are y'all going on about? I told you before that you're all just tools to me. Mm-hmm. Ah, see? Even the shadow like monster agrees with me. <laughs> huh? Pick! Mash, hurry up and get rid of it. It's gonna eat me, it's gonna eat me! It was your friends! All skellies are bad! Dang it! I was just saying, um, mm -hmm, I agree with you, Olga Mary. Oh my gosh! I mean, some people say dead people tell no tales, but th 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 these guys could have. I mean, look at them. They're only missing part of their skull. It's okay. We can find it somewhere. Also, all these Altera cards. Let's just I'm up the battle speed. Uh, no matter what we do, we can't kill all of them. Wow. That magical number. Right. Ooh, Tomo Cat Couple. Let's go. Dang, swapping the four cards around. This deck is wrecked. Tis a wrecked deck! Alright, more, yep, more scalies. Oh, so this is also certainly not the final bet. No way it is. Wait. Actually, no. No, 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 no. It's not gonna matter why I do it. Because <laughs> I'm just gonna kill one, and we can't kill the other. Rude. Slapping the ladies. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, so th is this gonna be a fail bot? No, 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 okay. See, there's most certainly another bet after this. I mean, there's multiple bets. Uh, actually. Maybe Caster Coup could kill it. Maybe. Maybe not. Dang it, Coo! A one buster. I should wait. A one buster, a quick, and another buster. Maybe we could kill them all. Come on! Oh, we're getting real close to like master level, which is nice, but the daily quest gives us about 15k regardless. Bye. More quartz. I need all the quartz I could get for Gilga, man. Right. Okay, Grand Order. Th th now, this sounds like the final quest. I mean, it gives us a gold chest. Like, 
come on. Oh, the, the that's Artoria has been so useful so far, though. I have to admit. Because her plus my Altera has been so good for farming this current daily quest. Poor Tamo Cat's been getting bonked by it, though. <laughs> this is the Greater Grail. It's an ultra superior magical reactor. What's it doing on this island nation in the far east? A gun to our data was built by an eminent family of alchemists called the Einsburns. Though apparently they didn't belong to the Mages Association, and were solely made of homunculi. Sorry, that's a for chit chat. The lady has noticed us. Hello! Unbelievable magical output. Is that really King Arthur? No questions. She seems to have changed somehow, but she's the King of Britain, Arthur, wielder of the Sacred Sword. Her gender is different than the legend, but she had her reasons for dressing like a man in the Camelot. I mean, you can't assume the throne unless you're a man, right? She must have had to pretend to be a guy for family reasons. I have an idea who's behind that. It's mentioned in the legends. But Merlin really does have a terrible taste. Huh? Ah, oh, you're right. I thought that person was a man, but it's a woman. Don't be fooled by her appearance. She's a monster. Her power is not of muscle, but a ridiculous amount of magical energy. Every single strike is massive. If you're not paying attention, the top half of your body will go flying. Basically, just make it for like a human rocket. Understood. I'll fight back with everything I've got. Good. If you defeat her, the anomaly in this town will disappear. Listen, that includes both me and her. After that, it's your job. I don't know what will happen, but do the best you can. I see. You've got an interesting servant with you. What? You could talk? You're just maintaining your silence all this time? Yes. And you are being watched the whole time you are chatting. I merely acted as a scarecrow. But... It's interesting. I'm curious about that noble phantasm. Be ready, strange girl. This sword shall test the truth of your shield. Here she comes, Master! You us fight together! Yes, Master Kitty Light, here I come! I mean, you mean Tamil Cat, here I come. <laughs> and Altera. Oh? Oh yeah, that animation was a whole thing. I forgot about that. That was pretty neat. And then we actually get a fighter, right? Now, I also believe that after you beat... Saber Alter, you're able to summon her. Senpai? And uh, potentially as a story summon. Which I don't know if you could get her in the Gilgamesh gotcha. Because you could get some of the current ones. Like Vlad and one. No, but they're not really story related. Anyway, this music though. Oh, I've missed the grand battle music. It's lovely. Anyhow, oh, I wish I had my own Artoria. Yeah. I don't know, like, just the concept of using Artoria against Saber Altar would be amazing. Well, let's go, Tumble Cat! Ow. I don't know what I expected when I'm a level 46 Berserker with a free head chain. Ooh, I needed those! I actually needed exactly five for Altera. Give me that. Hum. Unbeknownst to me, my powers weakened. I set my hand at the very last moment. I was going to defend the Holy Grail to the end, but I lost because my tenacity wavered. Ultimately, no matter how my fate changes, I'll always meet the same end if I'm alone. What's that supposed to mean? Bastard, what do you know? Eventually, you two will realize that our land's child of light. Grand Order. The battle to obtain the Holy Grail has only just begun. Well, rap. Hey, wait, what do you mean by whoa, crap, I'm getting sent back too? Damn, I don't like this, but I forget. I'm leaving the rest to you. If there's a next time, try to summon me as a Lancer. I already have you, buddy. <laughs> already got my own Lancer kill. Confirming both Saber and Caster Vanish, does that mean that we've won? Yeah, you did a fine job, Mash Dave. The director must be so pleased. Hey, wait, where's the director? Granddaughter, how did that servant know that name? 
Orders, please, Director Mary. Huh? Oh, right. Well done, Dave. Marsh. Several points are unclear, but let's call this mission complete. First, let's retrieve that crystal. It's the reason Saber became abnormal. It's clearly the reason why Fuyuki City became a singularity. Yes, an immediate retrieval. What? Well, I don't expect you to get this far. Beyond my pawn's expectations and my own tolerances. Master Kennedy 48, it was my mistake to naively overlook you as an improbable child. Professor Leff? Leff! Professor Leff, you say? He's there! Whom? Is that Romani I hear? So you survived as well. I told you to come to the command room immediately. My seems you didn't listen, honestly. Trash, you can't even follow orders. Just the mere sight of it makes me want to throw up. Why is it that humans always try to avoid their preordained? Or preordained, sorry. Destinies. Huh? Master, fall back. Fall back, please. That person is dangerous. Th th that isn't the professor left we know. Left. Oh, left, left. You're alive. Thank goodness. Without you, I don't know how I could protect Chaldea. Director, don't. That man is... Hi, Olga. You're same well. Looks like you had a rough time, too. Yes, yes, that's right. Lev, the command room blew up. The city's in ruins, and I can't return to Chaldea. I'm going crazy from all these unforeseen complications. But it's okay as long as you're here. We'll be fine, right? That's how it's always been, right? You'll help me this too? This time too, won't you? Yes, of course. Honestly, all these complications have irritated me. And the biggest complication is you, Olga. I see the bomb right under your feet, yet you still live. What? Oh, F? Um, what's that supposed to mean? Sorry, you're not actually alive. You're already dead. Your body, at least. Long ago. Tris Megatus thoughtfully transferred you, transferred you into this land after you become res residual thoughts of a gosh, I'm misreading everything! <laughs> it's the distance! Long distance reading, man. Anyway, you have no aptitude for ratio of 12 alive, right? You can't tell, but oh, you have a physical body. I understand, you only gained the aptitude you so desired after you died. That's why you can't return to jail, dear. The moment you do, your consciousness will vanish. What? I'll vanish? Wait, I can't return to Chaldea? Indeed, but that's too sad of a story for you. Let me show you the fate of the Chaldea that you devote your entire life to. What is that? Chaldea's is bright red? It's a lie, right? It's just an illusion, right, Leif? That's real, I've connected the dimensions for you. Have the only girl allows me to do so. Now behold, descended up Animosphere. Behold your folly. Not a slither of blue representing humanity. Survival remains. Nothing but a burning, bright red. That is the outcome of this mission. Isn't it wonderful, Mary? Once again, your incompetence has brought forth tragedy. Don't. Don't be absurd. I'm not responsible. I didn't fail. I'm not dead. Who are you? What have you done to my Chaldeus? It isn't yours, honestly. What an annoying girl you are. What? Something's pulling. My body across space. I told you, that place is now connected with Chaldea. I could kill you now. There's no great to that. I will grant you your final wish instead. Go ahead and lay hands on your treasure. Big Vez benevolence on my part. Wait, what do you mean, Left? My treasure? You mean Chaldeus? No, stop. Please, Chaldeus, I didn't say body of data, a territory of dimensional anomaly. Yes, yeah, no different from a black hole, or perhaps a sun. Well, either way, a human touch it would be a hellish disintegration on the molecule level. By all means, have a taste of infinite living death. No, no, no! Somebody help me, help! I, I don't want to die here, because I've never been praised. I've never been praised by anyone. Why? Why does this always happen to me? No one ever valued me. Everyone hated me. No, stop. No, 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 no. I haven't even accomplished anything yet. From the moment I was born, I've never been accepted by anyone. Director! And she's gone! <gasps> no, don't do it, Senpai. If you approach that man, you'll die the same way. Oh, impressive for Demi Servant. You sense that I'm fundamentally different life form. That I am A, sorry. Challengers myself. My name is Lef Lenore Flaros. 
in charge of the year 2017 sent to dispose of you humans. Are you listening, Dr. Romani? As a friend who studied magic with you, let me give you some final advice. Child day has finished. Hum humans have reached the moment of your destruction. Professor Lef? No, Lefunor. What do you mean? Is it really to be able to see 2019? It's not really. It's in reality that this is the end. I never to observe the future. You babble that disappeared. That was truly wishful thinking. The future didn't disappear. It was incinerated. In that moment, Chaldeus was dyed crimson. You are in deserted. Your era no longer exists. Chaldeus' magnetic field may be protected Chaldea, but any outside of it will face the same fate as Fuyukisei. So that was it. We didn't lose contact with the outside world due to interference. We simply lost the outside world itself. Hmm, <laughs> you really are perceptive. I sure we didn't kill you immediately. But that, too, is futile resistance. At the time of when Chaldea passes 2018, I'll be wiped from this universe. No one could change the outcome now. This is rejection of humanity by human history. You didn't perish because you had the ability to evolve, nor did you perish into the war with foreign species. Rather, it was your own foolishness, your incompetence, because you lost the rights of our king. Like a bunch of worthless scrap paper, you all be burned away without trace. Ah, is the singularity has limits? Cast Saber, if you just obeyed, you would have been allowed to live. Even when given the Holy Grail, she got shown by one to sustain this era. Farewell, Romani. And you, MASH, Candidate 48. Believe it or not, I have other things to do. My enjoyment of your destruction ends here. And now I'll be swallowed by the Dimensional Warp. But I'm not all evil. I'll allow you to say a final prayer. The underground cavern's collapsing. No, the cavern wasn't stable in the first place. The rock to perform an, an emergency reshift. At any rate, we can at least save Senpai. Understood. I'm already doing it, but I'm sorry. It may collapse faster than I can fix it. If it does, then do what you can on your side. I mean, we can survive in space for a few dozen seconds, right? Sorry, but please shut up, Doctor. I'm so mad I'm about to lose my cool. Just hang on to your consciousness. If you don't lose that, I may salvage. We won't make it. Mash. You at least. Sent by your hands. Oh, we're at the boo. <laughs> Alright, you're a good boy. Want something to eat? Nuts? Or maybe fish? I'm not sure if you're a cat or a squirrel, but that's okay, you are pretty cute. Boo! Cute, cute. Huh? Ah, the hero's awakened. There, there. That's how mean cats should be. Good morning, Dave. You're conscious now? Who are you? I mean, we already know who she is, nothing, see? Um, you're not thinking straight yet? This is the first time we've spoken directly like this. What? Are you shocked that you walk up to the side of such a beauty? I understand, but I'm used to it. I'm Da Vinci, a Chaldea collaborator, or perhaps the third summoned hero experience. Anyway, we'll talk later. Somebody's waiting for you. Get to the command room. Is it the doctor? Roman? Roman's waiting too, but he's not important. Wow! Jeez, there's someone else. She's the important one. Guess you're not used to being the main character yet. Phil, Phil! See, that's why I want to say so too. Come on, time to get up, Dave. From here on, you'll be the center of the story. The chances is you will probably save us all. Just like the multitudes of brave souls who weren't remembered by history as they saved humanity. You've been given a role to fight, not as a hero, but as a human walking a path that was preordained by the stars. Is it a masher? Good morning, Senpai. I'm glad to see that you're okay. Good morning. Thank you, Mash. I should be the one thanking you. I was able to stay conscious, thanks to you. Ahem. Uh -huh. I'm all for your reunion, but could you bring your attention here, please? First of all, congratulations on surviving and completing your mission, Dave. Well done. Wow, the situation was far from you gradually. You bravely faced the challenges and overcame it. That earned my respect and appreciation. Thanks to you, Mash and Chaldea were saved. It's a shame about the director, but we've no time to hold the service. All we can do is grieve. If I survive, then maybe the director... Huh. Listen, we must defend humanity in the director's place. That's how we pay our tribute. I got the report about the crystal from Rash, and what Laugh said. From Chaldeus who say, what Laugh said was true. We can't contact the outside world. The staff let Chaldea haven't returned. I fear humanity has already been destroyed. Chaldea seems to be the only place outside of the normal timeline. Perhaps it's staying on the timeline right before the collapse. Think of it like a colony flown in space. The outside world was dead until we do something about the situation. Can we even do it? 
And of course, first I want you to see this. We tried scanning Earth of the Resurrected Shiva. It's Earth of the past, not the future. The Fuyuki Singularity was destroyed, thanks to you. But we hypothesize that the future was unchanged due to another cause. The result being... This destroyed world map, a newly discovered dimensional disturbance against which Fuyuki pales in comparison. They say changing the past changes the future, but you can't overthrow the future by slightly altering the past. History has the power to heal itself. You might be able to save a person or two. But at the end of the era, we'll say I'll end up with its definitive result unchanged. But these singularities are different. These are humanity's turning points. What if this war didn't end? What if this naval voyage wasn't successful? What if this discovery was wrong? What if this nation could become independent? The ultimate decision points to determine the current state of humanity. Destroying them is like causing the foundation of human history to crumble. That's what these seven singularities are. The future had already been decided when these seven singularities formed. As Lev said, humanity doesn't make it to 2019. But we're different. Chote has yet to reach that future. Do you understand? Only we can fix this mistake. Now we have a t chance to return the singularities to normal. So here's the deal. Ray shift into these seven singularities and get history back on track. It's the only way to save humanity. However, we are still powerless. All other master candidates are frozen. Mesh is the only servant we have. I realize you're being forced into the situation. He himself still say it. Master candidate 48 Dave. If you wish to save humanity, if you wish to have a future beyond 2018, then you alone must go and face these seven singularities in human history. Are you prepared to do this? Can you shoulder the burden of Chelsea and humanity's future? If it's something I can do. Thank you. With those words, our fate has been decided. We will now carry out the preservation of humanity as laid out by Olga Mary Animus Sphere, former director of Chaldea. Our objective is the protection and recovery of human history. Us, our show will be each era's relic and grail. Our opponent is history itself. Many great hero experts and legends will stand against you. Challenging them is an act of blasphemy against the past. To save humanity, we must defy human history. But this is the only way to survive. No, the only way to take back the future. No matter what sort of end awaits us. To reflect our determination, we shall abandon the original mission name, First Order. This is now Chaldeus' last yet original mission, the Grand Order. In the name of the magical world's highest order, we will take back the future. Because that's the name of the game, Fate's Grand Order. <laughs> ah, that's... Order complete. Foundation restored. Oh, I'm looking forward to subsequent ones, though. Because Fuyuki is one of my least favorite arcs. And yet, we get a guaranteed bond level from MASH. Because there's no other way to level it up. Also, some loot. Caster Kukulain has been sent to your present box. St. Quartz has been sent to your present box. I'll get the ability to register your favorite servant. It can be configured on the service detail page. Once registered, your favorite servant will be displayed on your My Room screen. 10 St. Quartz. And one Kukulain. We need one more Quartz! To do a big old summon. I think we'll just do something along the lines of that, I suppose. That we did, Ku. That we did. Right, so since we now have that my room thing unlocked, we should be able to see some bond events and whatnot, right? Yeah, that's a point. Also, a friend request, hmm, by a random mashu, I'll accept. You're now friends with DVV. <laughs> Do I have 25 more buddies? Right, so. We need two more quartz, actually. Oh. Okay. Well, we'll get those two more quartz soon enough, however. Can always do that off screen, or I could just do it and do a quick edit. I think I'll do that because I really do want to get that there attempt again. And we do have 
Yeah, we do have Gilgamesh as a potential thing. Then again, no, 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 no. We could save it for Orleans. Yeah, because we're going to get some St. Cores as we go through there. Yeah. But first and foremost, let's go to our my room. Right, so can I change my favorite? Yes, I can. So we should have some Bond events, right? Oh my. Okay, that's just the same. Right, so I guess we have to go to our profile? I'm confused. I, I don't know how to get Bond events. Uh... If we go here, it's where Origin last. I know we get some lore unlocked, which I'll just cycle through. I won't read it all for now. Ascension. See, it's my room stuff, though. That's the thing. Like, I know we could just do it there, but I want to see if there's an actual event. So we've got my room. And if we switch display, maybe? Oh? Okay, then. Oh, that's the same. Meh. No, 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 that doesn't work. No. Ooh. So it's like random? Okay. Let me just double check that then, because I'm curious. So if we go to... Just here. It's for Origin last. And we just go here. Because I don't know what these are. Um, My room. たまのないとは諸悪の根源たまもの前から分かれた9つの王の also, as those little events, eh? Okay. So I guess with subsequent bond levels then. Yeah, I think some of them just get kind of locked away. And are only limited in there. That's probably the case. Well, I guess we'll just have a little look at Kyohime's. Because she's almost got four bond levels. Uh, and then we'll just go to the my room. Oh my gosh! <laughs> hate, 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 hate. So much hatred. Well, uh, where is it? Bond level. Oh, okay. Wow, where's the love? <laughs> you know, he's a tabable cat even though she wants to eat us up. Potentially, at least, you know, we're at least bonding with her. With her, we're not really doing anything like that. What about your alliance? We should have at least one bond level, yeah? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, whoops a daisy. Ah. Okay, next up is you. The Regens. Because he's got Ascended, but we've already seen that. Two bond levels as well. さて、これが拙者の真実かどうかは自分にもわからぬのだ。いや、刀に命を捧げた水鏡者らしい末路よな。マスターに不満はないぞ。そなたには魔術師特有の重りがない。私にはそれがこの町。Oh, thank you very kindly, you regent, you. Well then, folks, I think that'll be a good time to end off this episode of Fake Grand Order. Because we've done quite a bit, I just wanted to have a little skim through. That probably just prolonged the length quite a bit, in all honesty. But anyway, folks, this is not a good page. Yeah. This will be good enough. But anyway, folks, thank you all for watching this episode of Fate Grand Order, and I'll see you all next time. Well, for the next singularity at Orleans. I'm looking very much forward to it because this will be new territory and it'll be at least something other than skeletons. Although I'm pretty sure it's about as equally generic in that regard. But anyhow, it's for now.